It's so hot here in Mexico, Lana. I know. I am hot. This hot is blazing in here. And so were a lot of people on this like. I might, need to, I might need to lay down. I, I think you should. I'll fan your face. I got you. I got you. I got you. There you go. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Thank you. Of course, of course, of course. But yes, hello, 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 and hi there. Welcome to the Cup TV, the currently unnamed podcast where we put the real and the tea into reality. And you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. I'm Logan Murphy. I say something gay. Gay, today I am just drinking some water, but it's cucumber lime water. Because hydration is very important, and I wanted to be a little fancy today with my hydration. Fancy, fancy. Oh, Look at you, fancy. I know. They fancy. say cucumbers are supposed to be good. Like cucumbers are supposed to be good for um, water being like absorbed into the body a little bit better. I don't know mm-hmm. whether that's true, but I've been told that, so I said okay. Sure. Sure. Work. And hello, hi, you guys. I am Lana, your resident evil diva, and I'm here to give the tea, spill the tea, and drink the tea because you know. I love me some tea. Her. And if you have some tea, you know what to do. Hit me up. I'm not drinking tea and I'm not even drinking water. I didn't grab anything. So I'll just talk to you about my cup mug. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, pan open my cup mug. Pan open my cup mug. Beer, 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 beer. And you can get your cup mug. Or even our cup merch at lawnageescreations.etsy.com. Well, the link will be in the description below. And we do ship domestically in the United States, in North America. Yeah. And we're working okay. on our own race around the world of international shipping. So there are some excuses. But if you're in the United States or Mexico or, in the, or Canada, there are no excuses. Get your cup merch. Period. Oh, yes. Well, we are back. It is episode two of The Amazing Race 36. This episode was a mess. I'm just going to call it like it is. It was a mess. A lot of teams didn't know that what they were doing at certain moments. I don't think anyone made it through the leg without making a mistake. <laughs> Literally, I think every single team made a mistake at yeah, some I'll, point. Uh, yeah, you know it's a bad leg, or you know it's a it's a weird, not bad, but you know it's a weird and wacky leg when you don't even see the entire back of the pack until thirty minutes into the episode. Yeah, I was like, "Jesus, not this!" But we're gonna talk. All about that. Before we do that, make sure to subscribe if you have not already, because we're here almost all the time giving you almost all things reality TV. We got a lot of reality TV happening right now. That is the dominant thing we got going on here at the Cup is a lot of reality TV. So make sure you're checking out all of our fabulous reality TV content, our interviews, because we're getting you exclusive content because we're fabulous. Speaking of exclusive content, if you would like some exclusive content and early access to some of our content from all around the cup universe make sure to go join our membership channel over on our main channel join the tea room you can hit the join button over there or head to patreon same content different platform uh those links are down in the description below and you should go to subscribe to uh any of our three other channels for almost all things drag almost all things eurovision song contest and almost all things wrestling recaps so very excited about that and all those links are down in the description below as well. So, it is part two of our not mega leg, but no. kind of mega leg, sort of. Continuing. I'm curious. We're continuing on in the same city, mm-hmm. even though no one won the previous leg. They I'm, call it a no rest leg. I did see that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now I remember that. So, a no rest leg. Um, I'm curious whether, because we, so we only have four other countries that we're visiting on this season. I'm curious whether they're going to end up doing this the whole time, which begs the question, are there only going to be five winners of legs? Who knows? Because Rod and Leticia definitely didn't win 
the first leg. They no, were first. But they kept going. But they did not get a prize. No. Until this leg. We'll talk until about this leg. Because the first, like, literally 30 minutes of this episode are dominated by Ron and Leticia, who finished first in the previous leg, and then Ricky and Cesar, who finished second, and then um, Derek and Sh- uh, Shalisa, and Juan and Shane, who are the, the literally the top four teams from the previous leg, which then begs the question, how long was the time difference between all of these teams? I mean, everybody left within the hour which is mm-hmm. crazy because Rod and Leticia which was who left first mm-hmm. left at 12:05 p.m. Yeah. And Amber and Vinny who were the last team left yeah. at 1:42 p.m. So they all left within, within like an hour, an hour and a half of each other. Why was it so like was it and I need to go back and look at the the timestamps for that because I didn't even realize that was the time difference. Honestly, was there just like a big, like was ev- everyone else seemed to be because they did the crossfade? Remember from last week where it was like fifth through tenth all kind of just got crossfaded, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm like, were the back half of those teams all within like thirty minutes of each other or something, or like what was the T on that? Because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the T is on that. I, it's I might weird. Go, I might go back and look. But yeah, so Rod and Leticia um, start out on this no rest leg. They're headed to Iguana Bridge, which causes a lot of people a lot of <laughs> issues in this episode. We can't find Iguana Bridge. We're going under Iguana Bridge. We're going behind Iguana, Iguana Bridge. We're going over and then under and then to the side of Iguana Bridge. We're going to places that are allegedly Iguana Bridge, but aren't Iguana Bridge. Iguana Bridge. Child, if I would never have here Iguana Bridge. One Iguana more time. Bridge. I mean, nobody could find Iguana Bridge. Only a select few could find Iguana Bridge. And honestly, now, if I ever make a trip to Puerto Vallarta, I kind of want to go to Iguana Bridge. Bridge. I have to go to Iguana Bridge. Absolutely. The, the spot of some of the most iconic, amazing race moments of all time, Iguana Bridge. Iguana Bridge. Yes, yeah, so we are heading to Iguana Bridge to mm-hmm. get a clue for mm-hmm. our detour. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. So we have our detour, um, balloon collection or color correction, mm-hmm. where balloon in balloon collection teams will pick up balloons for a fiesta, um, going through the tight corners of a craft market. And in color correction, teams have to search through a sea of uh, traditional Mexican flags to find a color sequence that doesn't match the one that they were given, Mm -hmm. Um, which will then take them to the roadblock who has a skeleton in the closet where one team member has to paint the other teammate's face in a sugar skull Dia de los Muertos Mm -hmm. uh, kind of design. Um, And then heading to Casa Kimberly for the pit stop. So that's, you know, everything. I figure we might as well bring up everything at the start because, again, this leg is not linear at all. No. It's not a way that it's... And I think, honestly, that might have to do with the fact that they did have to extend all of these episodes by 30 minutes. Absolutely. Absolutely. I feel like they just gave... You know, did the little thing that they had to do and needed to do and just fill up, fluffed up, whatever, you know. Yeah. Put it a little bit more extra kind of, which really wasn't me. Like, I get it, wanting to do the 90-minute episodes and all of that. But and like, I love it, because I, I do love like it. a 90-minute Amazing Grace episode. But if I don't just, have the content for it. Right. You just Because the first part of this, we really just, like you said, we it was dominated by the first three teams that left. Yeah. And watched them go to the bridge. They did the balloon collection. Mostly everybody decided to do the blue collection. Some did the color because I think there, there was only one team that finished. That finished it. One color finished correction. it. Everybody and that was that like that four was, teams. Um, Sunny the and the firefighters. Sunny, yeah. yeah. They finished it. Everybody wow. else got there and was like, oh, absolutely we not. We have a cast graphic, by the way. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Forgot to pop this up. But yeah, it was. Um, we saw Danny and Angie go try to do it. 
We saw Karishma and um, Kishori. Kishori tried to do it. We, we saw sp- Michelle and Sean try to do it, I think. Yeah. Um, the twins tried to do it. Yeah. And, they, um, and that, I think that was it who tried to do it. And then they were like, no, absolutely not. Yeah. And they were like, which would have been me, because I would have been like, no, thank you. This is ridiculous. Like, you are not finna, I'm not going to stand here and look at all these. Especially with how many strands of flags that they yes. have going on. Like, that's just mm-hmm. not. My head would have been hurting. That's reasonable, unfortunately. No. I would have like, just ran around and grabbed balloons and kept on moving. Like, absolutely. That was the easiest one. But everybody eventually decided to change detours at the, you know, after going to the color, the color one and was like, no, if they went there. And it just was really just people went and found the balloons. Some people had a hard time finding the balloons. Where's the purple balloons? Well, Where's the purple like, balloons? <laughs> literally. It seemed like the red and the yellow were like pretty close together in that market. And then you literally had to cross a bridge to get to the purple ones. Mm-hmm. Which, mm-hmm. hey, it gives a little bit of a little bit more stuff. I know specifically with Caesar and Ricky. Um, they didn't realize at first that you had to each person had to grab a bunch of balloons until they saw Rod and Leticia doing it. Mm-hmm. I have to say, I think Rod and Leticia are going to be the powerhouse team of the season. I mean, now we're mm-hmm. two episodes in, they've technically won both of the first two legs. I think mm-hmm. we're gearing up towards seeing them be the powerhouses of the season. Mm-hmm. I can um, see people trying to use the U turn on them. Absolutely. I could see them having one leg where they just don't, they just right. can't, like whatever it is, they're just not able to do it. And, mm-hmm. you know, it might cost them eventually. But I think, you know, two episodes in, I think we're pretty, pretty strong with them so far. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, most of this top section of the uh, episode is Rod and Leticia versus Ricky and Cesar. It's yeah. like, who's gonna, who's gonna get it? They're very back and forth throughout the whole thing it was a nice it was a nice back and forth they were even like uh racing to the pit stop later on which we get them getting to the pit stop literally halfway through the episode right and i'm like okay cool now we can focus on everybody else (laughs) like i'm like how much did we even really see the twins or like (sighs) the twins just kept getting lost we did see um we saw some, and I hope I'm not mixing the episodes together because I watched them at the same time. Uh-huh. We saw uh, Derek and Shalisa asking, I think I think it was... Uh, it was Ricky and Caesar. It was Ricky and Caesar in this episode. Yeah, they were asking them if they wanted which, to help them. Which, which way is this thing? And they were silent. They're like... I was like, oh. I'm like, baby, you, you know you are top two right now in this leg. Right. It does not hurt to say oh, to help cool. somebody out. If, if you were at the if you were at the back of the pack fighting yes. for last, then, then yes. I get it. Don't help anybody. But you are at the top of the pack. You know you're at the top of the pack. And I think can... that's gonna come back to bite them. Oh, I, think it really is. Are, I think Derek and Shalisa are gonna be another very, very strong team mm-hmm. that we see all season. But I feel like, like you say, if you know you're at the back, at the front of the pack, and you know, and nobody else behind, it's so many people behind, you can help them out. Like, exactly. Yeah, that work, just like, that so they can know that if it comes back, they'll help you. But exactly, you know. I'm like, because I feel like there's gonna come a moment where Ricky and Caesar are really mm-hmm. needing some help, and Derek and Shalisa are not gonna help them. Oh, Shalisa is definitely gonna be like, nah. And I think Absolutely Derek is not. too. They're gonna be like, nah. Absolutely not. Yeah. And I, I wouldn't blame them because it's like you only give so yeah. many chances for people to, to show you who they are or who, who, how they're going to be in this race. And they just showed them. So it's like, okay. We also get, um, we get, um, I, I always say people switch detours yeah. very quickly after so many times of not figuring out this color thing, which I would have yeah. done. But after that, we see. Michelle and Sean. I was headed that way, yep. And Karishma and Kishori, they can't find Iguana Bridge, number one. Yeah. And then when they they just happen to walk up on the roadblock, road they didn't even do the detour. So Michelle and Sean, they go in there and they start 
doing yeah, the they just work. Doing it. I mean, she was in it. He was half. And he was fully painted. And hey, it's not out of the realm of possibility for uh, Amazing Grace to do a roadblock before a detour. No, it is not. They have done it several times before. Yeah. And so we know it, it is a, a way to the thing that they do. So they're like, oh, here it is. We found it. We stumbled upon it. We yeah. got the blocks. We're doing it. Yeah. And then Juan and Shane comes in and they're doing their thing. And both a lot of teams have come in and started. Yeah. Karishma and Kishori comes in and apparently they have come we got a, a good relationship with Juan and Shane. Yeah. And they were like, hey, is this the first thing y'all doing? Mm-hmm. And they were like, no. What do you mean? They were like, what do you mean? No. Well, because they had asked Michelle and Sean too. They were like, yeah, is this Juana like, Bridge? And they're like, like yeah, yeah, girl. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, girl. absolutely. Absolutely it is. So when they go to Juan and Shane and they're like, no, we just did like an entire detour. And they're like, what do you um, mean a detour? This isn't Juana like Bridge. Bridge. They're like, no. And they're like, so Michelle and Sean are sitting there like, it, I felt like it took them too long to realize the situation that they were in was also the situation that Karishma and Kishori were in. Yes. I was like, because they did not move with any sort of urgency out of there. And Karishma and Kishori were like, we got to run. Like, we got to find this skinny Iguana bridge. And Michelle and Sean were like, okay, well, then I guess I'll wipe this makeup off of him. I'm like, girl, you skipped an entire task. Why are y'all not like? Why are y'all not rushing? It was, it was insane. It was it was crazy. I was like, oh no, are we about to lose either Kash, uh, Kashama or and and are we about to lose the pink or the red team? Are we about to lose one of them? Like I'm a little bit like I don't want to lose either one of them. No, Lana, we're not going to, and we'll talk no. about it later. But no, I know why. Can we talk we're... about something that I really enjoyed seeing, and I was happy that they showed? Sure. I was so happy that they showed Danny hosting his local Amazing Race game in Walla Walla. <laughs> I was like, because I knew he did that, and I knew I knew he'd been doing that for a while. Um, and so seeing it on the Amazing Race while they're on the Amazing Race, I was just like. That's our friend Danny. That's Danny. He's doing that. And we don't really get to see a whole lot of them until the end of the episode. So I guess we'll pop back in on our uh, our Danny and Angie uh, later in in the episode. But so Karishma and Kishori, Michelle and Sean head back. They go to do their detour. And I think it's Michelle and Sean go right for the balloons, I believe. Yes. Yes. Um, Karishma and Kishori go for the color. Uh, because the color it was correction. right there. Everybody yeah. who picked the color one was like, it's right there. Let's just go do it. And then they get there and be like, oh, absolutely not. This is going, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Meanwhile, as these two teams are having their like panic and they get to the detour, Amber and Vinny, remember them? They almost got eliminated in the first leg. Yeah, they mm-hmm. jumped from last to ninth. Mm hmm. And so they're mm-hmm. also in it. We don't see a whole lot of them, but this is like the one time that we uh, we do see it. We also see Chris and Mary. God bless them, Chris and Mary. Uh, they also end up going to um, color correction, and both them and Kishori and Karishma end up swapping after finally Busy and Sunny finally got <laughs> the color correction. <laughs> And I was so happy to see it. They finally got it. I'm I'm thrilled for them. Um. So they're doing their things. They're uh, at this point. Michelle and Sean have finished their uh, balloons. Mm-hmm. Um. They get and this back is where we. The... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They get they back. Run back to the makeup thing. And this is where teams start to fall apart a little bit. A little bit. And by fall apart, I mean completely stop, throw up over the side of a bridge in Puerto Vallarta, lay down on the ground during the challenge, sweat through the makeup. This, this, I mean, we saw Sheila and Derek, Shalisa and Derek, 
Like Derek was sweating buckets. Like oh. it, it would like she put the makeup on, he split the makeup off. It was just that quick. And so were the twins. The twins have the same the twins yes. have the same issue. Everybody had the the issue was like, okay, we stop sweating, stop sweating. Then we saw Amber and Vinny, like Amber's doing this and she's very meticulous. She's like, uh -huh. and he's like, you're OCD. I know it, but you really got to just do it. You just yeah. got to not be a perfectionist. She was like, I'm not trying to be a perfectionist. I'm just trying to get it right. I just want to make it so they won't ding us and tell us to keep going. And hey, it she got it on the first try. On the first try, which... Because you know who didn't get it on the first try and who kept having to keep uh, calling okay. over and over? Busy and Sunny. Busy was just, no, it was Sunny. Sunny was yeah. just like, check. And the girl was like, mm. she's like, okay, check. <laughs> like, and Busy is like, I know what she's doing wrong, but I can't. I can't tell say her. anything. And I want to tell her she's not putting the yellow on the teeth, but she's just like, check, check. <laughs> I think she had like, Literally. it felt like that to me. It felt like it, felt like it yeah. So shall we, shall we get to some results, Lana? Absolutely. We can talk about, you know, the little bit of uh, the people we didn't, you know, talk all that much about, didn't get as much screen time, but... It ends up being a race to the mat between Rod and Leticia and Cesar and Ricky, but Rod and Leticia end up taking the win and get a trip to Lisbon, Portugal. How lovely. Ooh, how lovely indeed. How lovely indeed. Uh, Ricky and Cesar do come in second place, a very strong second. They're going to be another very strong team, I think, for you know, the bulk of this race. So excited for that. Derek and Shalissa, very strong performance, end up uh third in this leg Juan and Shane who kind of you know just power through the whole thing Can coming forth um my favorite and least favorite moment of this episode is when they finish the roadblock and they're like yeah bro you did that bro over Good some sugar makeup, skull makeup bro. Oh, with some sugar skull makeup yeah bro you really killed that makeup you put bro. That makeup, yeah, bro. bro yeah, yeah bro. bro oh my god I I really wish straight men would just take bro out of their vocabulary. Oh, it would be so nice, wouldn't it, Lana? I would love for everybody, everybody to take bro out of their vocabulary. Completely dismiss it. It's no longer here. We've never heard that before. Because I, I, oh. Uh, it would be nice. It would be lovely. Love man. <sighs> BS one and Shane coming forth. Yvonne and Melissa are fabulous lesbians. Uh come in fifth. We don't see a whole lot of them in this episode. I mean, but they did name the episode. Trust, but exactly. Because exactly. that's what she says. Her Yvonne says that's what our relationship is. She said, I trust her. And I trust what she says, but I just need to verify some things first yep. before I fully jump in board on it. Yep. And I was like, you know what? Sometimes we don't need to trust, but verify things. Just make Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Not that I don't trust you. I just want to yep. make sure to ver and verify that it is what it is. Yeah. I want to make sure that the, uh, to verify that the information you're giving me is the right information. But I do Absolutely. trust that what you're saying I do trust what is you're the saying. truth, given the information you know. Absolutely. So. Um, after some uh, teams not having great uh, directional skills mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and having a, a redemption moment, uh, Angie and Danny end up coming in sixth, even after Angie gets some heat exhaustion at the uh, roadblock, has to lay down, but they are still able to get it done. Yeah. They go slow and steady, and because of uh amber and Vinny and the twins uh lack of directional skills mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they are able to pop up to six and their reactions to getting six was were the so cutest cute. things i was have so ever cute. seen 
It was so cute. I was like, like, oh. And the whole time I'm watching, because they're doing this, like, lovely lead up where, like, uh, the nurses and the twins are, like, running and trying to find it and asking uh, a woman of a certain age about Elizabeth Taylor and the twins have no clue who Elizabeth Taylor is. This woman literally laughed in their face. When they As like, she should. As she should. She was like, I, he was like, I don't know who Elizabeth Taylor is. Do you know? She was like, are you kidding me? Black like, you don't know who Elizabeth Taylor is. They're children. They're children. And then they're boys. And- exactly. Yeah. Um, but the they're doing this whole lead up thing where like the other two teams are running and Angie and Danny are just you know casually you know walking with a purpose mm-hmm. but walking up these steep steps mm-hmm. and doing what they need to do and then it pops up and the whole time I'm like are they gonna get six are they gonna pass over and then they did I was just like yes mm-hmm. ah I love them so much I feel like I would love Angie and Danny also if I, even if I didn't know Danny <laughs> I'm going to be honest, because they do just seem like that fun, lovely, like wonderful super fan team that I always love rooting for. Mm-hmm. It's just added bonus that I also happen to know one of them. <laughs> so, um, but yes, Angie and Danny end up coming in sixth. Uh, after some, uh, like all of the uh, navigation errors, like we talked about, Amber and Vinny come in seventh, Anthony and Bailey come in eighth. They show up at the same time. Uh, Sunny and Busy, after the absolute uh, disaster of a choice that it was to do the color correction, uh, slipped down from, I think they were fifth or sixth in the first leg, to ninth. Um, And then it comes down to, you know, our two teams that got uh, mixed up uh, with the detour and roadblock and Chris and Mary. Yeah. And uh, Karishma and Kishori end up taking 10th in the leg. And Michelle and Sean do end up showing up uh, in 11th. So we do, unfortunately, lose Mary and Chris. I hate that we lost them. But I, I love the way that they handled it. And they handled oh, yeah. each other. I, we've seen fathers daughter teams on previous seasons of Amazing Race where the daughter just did not care. Like the father is like, I'm I don't feel well. I don't think I could do this. I'm my I'm dizzy. I'm passing out. Yep. And the daughter is like, come on, dad, suck it up. Bring it on. Like you could call Anna Lee out like that. We get it. I mean, we were all there. We watched the season. <laughs> I just was like, you, you know, I would be that one to be like, okay, dad, you, you, you feeling dizzy? Sit down. Let's sit down. Yep. You need some water? Let's get some water. Let's relax. We can take this time. If we lose, we lose. It's okay. Yes, we got a free trip to Puerto Vallarta. It's right. cool. We had a good time. But it ain't over till Phil says it's over, so we don't even know if we have yeah. place or not. So yeah. let's just, I want your health to be like that'll be me. I'll be like, listen, down, let's take some water, let's relax. Let's... You ready? Okay, let's go. And then yep. we move. But that's what Mary was. Mary was very much Mary and Danny are looking out for their parents because yep. they're like, this race is fun and I want to do this, but my mom and my dad come first overall. Yep. And they are looking out for their parents and they're like, You okay? Let's do it because they're all older and it's the heat hits their body differently than it hits your body. So yep. I love that. And I appreciated Mary for doing that. I love their attitude. Chris was such a, he was just like, I'm here for it. I love her. She wanted to do this. I'm going to do it. And we're going to go out here and we're going to have a good time. And I and love it. And finding out about their story about um, mm-hmm. Mary's mom was the one mm-hmm. that got them both into Amazing Race. And since she's passed now, they, they got to do this together. I love that. I this really is- do. I, I'm so happy that they got to do it as well. That's two super fan teams down already. I'm nervous. Yeah, I hate. I hate. I'm nervous. I'm nervous and I hate. Angie and Danny. Yeah. Nervous. I'm not putting anything in the universe, but I'm nervous now. So but they, this place, they just got to maintain for with it. But you have to remember, Lana. This is a charter plane season. Yeah. So they're gonna reset on their way yeah. to right. Columbia oh. next episode, I believe. I think so. 
where Angie and Danny deal with a stalled out boat. Oops. And so I'm more worried. Me too. <sighs> but overall, a solid episode, a mess, but a, a fun episode to watch <laughs> overall. But that's that. Um, let us know down in the comments all of your thoughts on this second episode of Amazing Race 36. What did you think about the the mix-ups? Are you sad to see Chris and Mary go? Because we are. Um, yeah, let us know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. We uh, we appreciate you watching and supporting. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like, and share on your way out. Um, you can check out the description for the links for all of our other YouTube channels. You can check out our membership page over on our main channel or over on Patreon. That will be down in the description below as well. You could also go follow us on our social media at the Cup Pod on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. You could go follow me and Lana because we're great and lovely and wonderful. And you could also go get your merch, including but not limited to Cup Mug. And we are working on our race around the world of international shipping at the moment. So we're working on it. We're going to get it to where this mug can go anywhere in the world that we want it to. So thank you so much for joining. With that being said, we're going to get out of here. Cheers. Cheers. Woo. Da, da, da. Da 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 da.